As the fight against the pandemic continues, President Biden says he is doing whatever he can to get vaccine doses to the states where they are desperately needed. Jonathan Seri has the latest from Atlanta. The White House is responding to growing frustration over vaccine shortages with the vaccine surge to states where supplies are running low. President Biden calls it a wartime effort. Deliveries will increase by about 16 percent over the next three weeks. And the administration is already working on buying another 200 million doses. Governors who had been raising the alarm about supply gaps welcoming the announcement. They're giving us certainty of those delivery because our providers have been bedeviled with uncertainty. We fully expect that everybody will receive a second dose on schedule. That is the plan. The vaccine surge comes as the number of daily confirmed cases has been ticking down slightly, prompting some states to reopen schools and businesses. A new CDC study showing in-person learning has resulted in little transmission of the coronavirus, especially when masks and social distancing are in place. And there's no negotiating about the health and safety of students, families and educators. And I believe the planning and hard work has paid off. But the CDC is tracking at least three new strains of the virus in the U.S. The U.K. variant is spreading the most quickly, turning up in at least 25 states so far. Some governors now warning folks not to take the drop in cases for granted. Much like the early days of the pandemic, there are many unanswered questions regarding how deadly and how easily transmissible they may be. Johnson & Johnson also says it's on track to produce 100 million doses of its vaccine candidate by the end of June.